Hey, what you doing? Well, since we're moving in a couple of days, I do believe it's time to drain the black tank. The black tank. Yeah, so <clears throat> I've got everything already hooked up. The gray tank is closed off. And I've got the uh, weight on the end there because where we're staying right now, they don't have a threaded uh, sewer pipe, so you have to put a weight over it because I don't want the contents of our black tank running all over the place. Sounds good. So what are you going to do first? I'm going to let fly with the black tank. Okay. So I got the black tank valve right here. And there we run. So what's the orange thing you got over there? That's a weight to hold the end of the hose in there because the, you don't have, like I said earlier, the uh, sewer outlet or inlet or whatever you want to say is not threaded for the um, for the adapter. So let me get a better shot here because there's a tree in the way. There is a tree. There is a tree because we are in a wooded area. So don't stand in front of it. So what are we talking about here? That's right here. I call it the caboose. The caboose. Yeah, you can either fill it with sand or water. I filled it with water. And this is the area where the uh, fire ants were, um, as I found out the hard way. So well, how did you find out about those They bit the ants? heck out of me. Oh, no. So did they come and fix it? They did. They dusted it. All right. So now we have dust and fire ants. Yep. All right. So we heard... Uh, we heard it stop making noise. So what happened there? Well, it appears to be empty. So um, I'm going to shut the valve right now over here and then go do the other one. And then I'll break out the hose and hook it up and um, run it through here for the flush. Right there it, where it says sewer tank flush. And give it a good flushing. All right. Sounds good. Oh, got to hook up the uh, hose here. For a little Y adapter. Some of these are easier than others because there's not so much stuff in the way. But this one's got some sort of a control box here. Nice thing about these Y adapters is I don't have to unhook the uh, fresh water um, for the RV in order to hook up the hose for the to do the flushing. You always want to use a separate hose. Everyone knows this, but no sense not uh, saying it again. You guys, you never want to use your freshwater hose for anything hooking up your sewer because there's no there's no anti backflow valve on here, and will build up pressure and um, flush back into your your hose. So essentially, you don't want the yucky stuff coming back at you. That's right. It is a bio hazard as we all know so okay you've got your back to the camera here so sorry yeah I know. I know I'm bad about that but you know so this isn't the best hose because even though it's very flexible it tends to kink a lot and irritate me more than anything okay this is no time for kinky stuff right no time for kinky stuff all right all right so well I'm gonna open this up and let it start flushing that or fill in that tank to flush it and I'll drain the, the black tank over here. All right. Sounds good. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Set. Go. Okay. There's not a lot of visual here, but we can hear <laughs> it. <laughs> so that's fill in time. Oops. The outdoor shower came, hose came out. Okay. No showers at the moment. No showers are predicted today. We have had a lot of rain, though. We have. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, a lot of rain. Okay, we're hearing is, a lot of water right now. And which is consequently followed by a lot of humidity here in Arkansas. Yeah. So we're hearing a lot of water in the background. What are we hearing? It's the black tank flushing or running out and then maybe you can hear the water flowing into the uh, into, or spraying out into the gray tank also. All right. Or the black tank, I'm sorry. 
here we see I'm, I'm getting a shot right now of, of how everything is intersecting so what's going on here well we have two um, black and gray kinks one in the in the middle one in the in the back because um, we have two bathrooms and plus the kitchen sink drains into this one and shower drains into this one over here the gray tank over here so okay. each of them are 40 gallons which gives us a lot of uh, time a lot of space to for water or for you know all that stuff the sewage and like that so this is flowing pretty good okay so what now you're back over here and what are you doing now well i'm just checking make sure it's flowing in there and i can feel the water going well so it's 40 gallons so it takes a little bit i never fill it all the way full i do it about halfway and then give it a run let it run out and then do it again a couple of times just to make sure that it's fairly clean in there then i'll go in and add the additives and we'll be good to go sounds good